On this episode, which metal polish is best? The traditional and cheaper outsole, or the more modern and expensive Meguiar's? Welcome back to Lumifa Classic, and if you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and consider subscribing. I put new videos every week on some classic car related content, and today we're going to do a product review because, I mean, if you own a classic car, most likely you have chrome, or if not, a lot of chrome on your car, and it gets pitted and faded over time, and you want to polish it and make it look nice. So, we're going to try out the sole, which is probably the most well known metal polish, I think. it's been around since 1929 with pretty much the same formula makes according to their website and I mean if it's been around that long it's a proven product and it should do a good job. Meguiar's is also an old brand however they keep making new products and new variants so this is their uh, next generation metal polish it's been on the market for I mean a couple of years at least or from a pretty long time but not since 1929 it's supposed to be a more modern and better metal polish so we're going to try both of these on my daily driver. It's a 1975 Jaguar XJ6. So we're going to try two pieces of chrome on it. We're going to try the front bumper. Um, take some masking tape, split the front bumper in half so we can try one product on one side and one product on the other side. See if we can tell a difference. And then I have some wheel trims which are in pretty terrible condition with some rust pitting showing through. And so we're going to see what these products do when the chrome is in really, really terrible condition. If they can make it look nicer and which one makes it look the best. So let's head on over outside, have a look at the car and try which product is best. The cheaper one or the more expensive one. Here's the car I'll be trying to polish some of the chrome on. It's my daily driver, 1975 XJ6. And from a distance, the chrome looks pretty nice. Out here in the sun, it looks shiny. But once you get close, it's... I mean, there's scratches here. It's a little pitted. A little bit of rust showing through there. Look at these rings here. I mean, there's... Look up close, there's some rust pitting. So I think it's the perfect candidate to try things out. Um, I will be probably replacing someone's chrome in the future. I do have new rings for here and some other things, but I thought this would be a great idea just to try two different types of chrome polishes, the ones that are sold most often, at least where I live, and see which one is better and which one holds up the best. So we're going to take uh, half of this wheel trim. So I took some masking tape here and here, polish one side with the um, outsole and the other side with the Meguiar's. And then the front bumper is another piece of chrome where I see that it looks pretty much the identical on the right and left. So there's a scratch over here. There's also some scratches over there. And it's pretty much uniform all the way through. So this is also a good one to test out. So I thought I'd do a masking tape line down the middle here. And then we'll try once again out the sole on one side and Meguiar's on the other side. So I'm going to set up those masking tape lines and the camera and we'll start with the out the sole one see what that turns out and then we'll do the Meguiar's after that. I've set up a masking tape line here down the middle so we're going to do out the sole on the left and the Meguiar's on the right starting out with out the sole here. The one I have just comes in a tube here. Just a normal metal tube. And for both products, I will be using microfiber towels. They're clean. I have one black one I'll be using for outsole, and then I have a lighter color one I'll be using for the Meguiar's, just so that they look a little different. And to make it fair, I've set up a timer here on my phone, five minute timer. So I'm gonna spend five minutes on each side so we get a fair and even result. So let's start with the metal polish here, the outsole. I'm gonna put some on a clean corner here. Of the microfiber towel and then start the timer countdown and start polishing it just spreading it out a little bit first and as per instructions start polishing in circular overlapping motions I'm going to continue polishing in this product and then I will buff it out after about the five minutes mark when I've had five minutes to polish it in everywhere. All right, so a little slight change of plan. I'm about at the halfway mark and I felt that the product was drying. So I decided to polish it off and I mean buff off the product for clean side of the towel. And you can already see, I think it's a lot shinier than before, but we'll see later when the other one. So, so I will do the same with the other product. I'm now gonna grab 
some more of the product and go over it once more. So I think that in five minutes with a piece of chrome or bumper this size, you'll be able to polish it twice. And there goes the timer. So that's been five minutes. Let's buff off the second coat here. So I just turned to a clean portion of this towel. And see if we get all the product off. Okay, I can still see a deep scratch over there. So maybe that's something I could work on a little bit harder, but I think the light scratches over here, you can see a little bit less at least. Okay, well, I think that actually looks better. I mean, it's not going to make it look like new chrome, but I do think it reflects the light a lot better, at least than this side, what hasn't been done at all yet. Hopefully that shows up on camera. But I think before we do the other side with Meguiar's, so we see if there's a difference, I think we'll do the wheel trim without the sole, and then we can do Meguiar's afterwards and really see if there's a difference. So here is that rusty wheel trim. I've set up two pieces of masking tape. So we do the left side again without the sole, but since this is a much smaller piece of chrome, I've set the timer just for two minutes. So I will start that timer now, get some of the product on another clean portion of the towel. And let's start down here. Okay, I can already see a difference. It's getting shiny and a lot of the light rust is going away. I think I do need a lot more product on this side, which is, or on this more rusty piece of trim. It's been two minutes now. I just turned off the timer, so we're having a clean part of the towel. We're going to polish this off, get any of the product off here. So after two minutes, that's actually made a big difference. Here on the sides, it looks almost perfect. Of course, you can still see some of the pitting in here because, I mean, it's pitted chrome. So it's not going to be perfect, but it does look a lot nicer. And this side, you can hear how rough it sounds over here. And I mean, it still sounds a little rough, but it's a lot better on that side. So let's go back to the bumper now, and we'll try the Meguiar's Metal Polish. So we're back at the front bumper on the other side, and we're going to try Meguiar's Next Generation All Metal Polish. Setting the timer again for five minutes. I'm just going to wait until I open up the can. All right, so start the timer. Clean microfiber towel again. Put a little bit of the product. It's more of a paste, this product, in the bottom of the can. And once again, being a Meguiar's product, which I really do like their products, it smells very nice. They always manage to put a really nice scent on anything they manufacture. And I mean, maybe that's not the reason why I like their products, but I think it's nice that it, they smell really nice when you work with them. Okay, we're at the two and a half minute mark now, so I'm going to turn to a completely clean portion of the cloth and to polish off the product. The one thing I did notice that felt different using this one is it didn't dry as quickly, so I felt like I could work with the same product for a longer period of time before I felt like it dried up and wasn't really doing its job on cleaning. Other than that, felt very similar. On both sides of the bumper, there were some small little tar spots, you know, from asphalt or from the road. Small little black spots that you can get on paint or chrome or anything. And both of them came off really easily with the products. But that's kind of what I felt so far. So I paused the timer now. I will restart it. And then we'll do one more coat, wipe it off, and then we'll see if there's a difference. And there goes the timer. So it's been five minutes in total. I'm gonna wipe off the excess product here with the final little polish. And we'll have a look, see if we can see a difference, and then we'll move over to the wheel trim and try the other side of that with the Meguiar's. 
honestly, here in the shade, I'm finding it really difficult to see a difference between the right and left side of this bumper. I mean, both look really nice, but if you look at the reflection here, I almost feel like that shine is deeper on the Meguiar side and on the other side, but it's hard to tell. So let's go over to wheel trim and then when we're done, I'll move the car around so we have the sun shining on it. Maybe we can see a bigger difference when there's sun on it than here in the shade. Back at the wheel trim, we already did half the side with outsole before, and you guys know the drill. Two minute timer, I'm gonna start it in just a second. Do the exact same thing, one coat on this side and see if we can compare. We can see more of a difference on badly rusted and pitted chrome than just, you know, average bad chrome. Start the timer now. And here you can clearly see the rust and dirt coming off into the light cloth. So just like on the outsole, I think on this side I will need to use more um, uh, more of the product to get a result. So when I feel like it's not really working anymore, I'm going to continue adding product just like I did on the other side to make this a fair test. Okay, and that's the two minute mark, so I have to stop, stop the timer. Turn to the last clean side of this cloth and swipe off the product or buff it out. Okay, here I actually feel like I can tell quite a big difference. And it's it's both positive and negative for both of them. I'm just gonna change the camera here a bit so you can see it. I have a feeling that this side has a deeper shine, like the chrome feels deeper, like the reflection feels deeper in the chrome. However, the Altusil side did a better job at removing the rust pitting, uh, but this did a better job at cleaning off the chrome in there, I think. But I'm going to turn the car around and we'll have a look at everything ag again and see if we can tell the difference in the sun. I turned the car around to the sun and it's hard to get sun on the side of the car and seeing the bumper at the same time but I think the wheel trim it was a lot easier to see which product was better and which was worse but let's have a look here at the front where the chrome was in a little bit better condition still not great and for me at least I mean, I'm trying here with my shadow and without the shadow but I've come to pretty much the same conclusion that the chrome or the like the shine feels deeper on the Meguiar side than on the other side. However, the outsole side did a better job at cleaning off impurities. So if there was things stuck to the chrome, like rust particles or small paint things or road debris. So this side is the outsole side and that side is the Meguiar side. So that's at least what I feel that like. this side did a better job at cleaning it off and that side did a better job at leaving a nice shine. So let's go back to the workshop and uh, talk about what we found out. And now we're back in the workshop and I think we got some interesting results. Both of them did a really good job, but it seems like they're good at different things or one of them is better at one thing and one of them is better at another thing, but we'll get into that in a little bit. I think we're gonna start talking about price because there is quite a big price difference between these two products. I checked both of them on Amazon just because it's easy to check prices on there. And the Altasol was about $12 or $13 and the Meguiar's was about $24 if I remember correctly. So this one's pretty much twice as expensive as this one. Yes, there's a little bit more in this can. It says 5 ounces and it says 3.3 .3 on this one. So there's a little bit more in this one, but still it's twice as expensive. And I'm not sure if I'm going to say it is twice as good as this one because I think this did a really good job at cleaning off the bad chrome, getting off that rust pitting and the cleaning off any marks on the chrome. I have a feeling that the Autosol did a better job. However, for getting a nice final shine, I think Meguiar's did a better job that the chrome got a nicer, deeper shine and it reflected the light a lot nicer in a more, it's hard to say, but it's almost a darker, deeper shine with this one. And that's why I think that both products, you know, they have their place. I think if you have, like I do, a car with, I mean, pretty, 
pretty back home really. It's a daily driver, it's, it sits outside a lot. The Chrome is not in the best condition. I think the Alto Soul is a better product for you because it cleans it off better um, without costing as much. It actually cleans it a lot better. Yes, it didn't leave such a nice shine as the other one, but it still looked a lot better than when I started. But if you have a vehicle with really, really nice chrome, I mean, it's been re-chromed or it's like in really, really nice condition like some other cars I have, which has some very nice chrome on it, I think I'd rather use the Meguiar's on that to get a nice deep shine. It didn't feel as abrasive as this product when I was putting it on. It felt like, this felt like it was more coarse than the Meguiar's one. So this one felt like it was safer to use on nice chrome, if that makes sense. But in any case, I think both of them are good products and they have their place. However, there was one interesting idea I thought of when I was walking inside. If, you, uh, if you're like me and you have both products and you have pretty bad chrome like on that car, I think I'm going to start with this one, clean it off, and then finish off with this one. And I think that is the ultimate way of doing it because then you get the cleanest chrome to start off with and then you get the best shine. So. That's my tip at least, if you want to get the best uh, chrome quality out of pretty worn chrome on a daily driver or just a old Survivor or something, I use both products. Anyways, please let me know down below what you use to polish the chrome on your car. Are there any of these two products you use? Are there other products that you use? Are there maybe any other products that you'd like me to try on the car? So please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you want me to try. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. And until next time, I'm Adam, and this was a little bit of a classic. I'll see you soon.